Hello YouTube and welcome to Resonance Arcade again. I'm going to go through mission 26 of Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, S ranking yet again. Now unfortunately I do miss out one of the objectives here. Um, or I spend rather a long time trying to find the the jackal around Kisber camp at the very end of this video. So I'll be cutting it slightly short but rest assured I do S rank it. I shall uh, put a screenshot of the rank up after, after this. Um, so yeah, this is the this is mission 26, hunting down. And the first thing you need to do is go and uh, get some intel from uh, from the abandoned village, uh, and also take some of the uh, get some of the prisoners. So first off. Some distraction. Probably a little bit overzealous here, but you know. We've all got helmets on again, so a good arm shot just uh, takes them out after a second. But because it's not the the full-on tranquilizer rifle, it takes a little bit longer for them to fall. There we go. Those guys over there are too, a little bit too far away to notice the Fulton, so that should be good. Right, that's prisoner one of three, maybe one of four. Yeah, one of four. Unfortunately, I, uh, Boss, I think I missed one of those. Was a civilian abducted by the target. So to be a little bit care more Greece careful here. Contact with a human rights NGO. He hopes that by handing over his list of buyers, they'll guarantee his safety. But I don't get it. Why an NGO? We confused why at the moment why they uh, haven't fallen yet, but it doesn't seem to matter too much. Prison number two. So D Dog really does make this a lot easier. Okay, subject is in. Prison number three taken out. Saw the uh, balloon over there, Mr. 25, 22 meters away. You gotta extract him. Let CQC to take him out. Again, it doesn't uh, give you a combat alert if you, if you just work that way. He's coming There's another guy who's come to investigate. That. I'm not sure where he came from, but. Prison is a little bit more tricky because he's underneath a, a roof. Now, when I first came to this village the first time, I, I took out all of the communication um, dishes, etc. But you just don't need to do it as long as you don't alert anybody. Just checking if they had any hel helmets on there. Some of these I can take while we're out of here. Underneath here, but I think the uh, 
a prisoner or one of the guys I have to take outside. That guy down there doesn't really matter too much right now. I'm not even sure if I go near him to be fair. So I've done all the prisoners but I now need to get the intel as well. So the intel's up here with these guys. one guy inside the tent so he's hardly going to see me these other guys may do so I think it's time for some uh, for a sleep grenade for these guys and I expected him to see that then but he didn't so that's why I went that way but those guys are taken out now, as long as I don't hit a table, well, and I do hit a table, but I can take him and basically ask him where the intel file is, which is literally two metres to my right. I've only done that out of uh, habit more than anything, I knew where the intel file was. Fuel is always helpful. And I have a little bit of a dance with some rifles that I uh, managed to pick up and put down a few times. Just look around, get a get a diamond, etc. Pet D dog for a bit of fun. Picked up an intel file. According to this information, the target is headed for Kaziba camp. We also have his movement route. I've updated your Again, this isn't strictly necessary, but and we use them as distractions in a little bit, but it's, it's, again, you don't really need any of them. So this guy on the savannah is really slow, he, he takes a while to get to the camp, so you've got quite a while to get to him. You could go straight there, um, if you just want to go and do the mission objective. But if you want to uh, complete it with a full, I mean, you can S rank it without getting all of the objectives. But if you want to, if you want to complete it without with all the skills, then you need to go to that camp with all the objectives, or rather, you have to go to that camp and uh, get the prisoners in the intel file. And he's pretty much close to the start of the of the route. This guy, I don't know if he starts when you pick the intel file up or. He's just really, really slow. And here he is. Actually, he's not that close to the start. There's quite a few guys around here, so if you don't have D-Dog with you, it's quite difficult to figure out where they are. I said, but D-Dog just makes it very, very easy. Pull off the stragglers first, take out. The there he is. Eliminate him, however you see fit. His mate's got a hat on, so takes a few shots to... I think I missed this guy again though. Oh no, I got him. That guy there has got, already been got. But there is one more guy as well who's uh, in the, kind of behind the forest behind me. The direction of E. I'll we'll see him in a minute, I'll pop up. Subject no, 
zombies. I'll go back and get my jeep so I don't get too far away from it. And instead of, obviously the alternative is using D Walker and calling him to you once you've done all the stealthing, but I said you don't have the, the benefit of D Dog then. Although I do I have just recently opened up a new support head for D Walker. So I expect that's gonna have similar kind of capabilities to what D Dog has to an extent. And it doesn't bark all the time, although it'll probably have some other annoying noise. So, one more guy to go. And he's got an SS rank on him, so... We'll do that. I think he hasn't got a helmet on, so yeah. I lost my jeep a little bit here. There it is. Let's go and fault on this guy and then. Uh, Dramatic that one, it. So, we've got extract the trafficker and his five soldier escorts, and extract a side a side striped jackal near Kisba camp. So now, I. I, I initially decide to uh, finish the mission but then I realise that I haven't fully done uh, all of the objectives so the next I'd say five minutes of the studio uh, were, was me essentially trying to find the jackal around Kisba camp but I couldn't find one um, so I'm going to stop the video there thank you very much for watching everybody I'll catch you next time uh, I'm going to try and do a few more of these videos um, Thank you very much, and if you're interested in anything we do, you can obviously check us out on YouTube, as you probably are doing right now. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, forward slash Resonance Arcade on both sites, and we do a show on Wednesday nights at 7.30pm, which is a games talk show. Uh, we have guests occasionally, and talk about current games, gaming news, etc. And uh, we'd love to see you there. It's an interactive talk show. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye. Mission complete, and how? They're going to tell stories about this one, boss.